through entitlement. Do I dare to declare who I am? Oh boy, I wonder what's gonna come out of my mouth today. It's always a surprise when I have a little idea and who knows how it's gonna show up. <sighs> what is true entitlement? In my world, true entitlement is owning who I truly am. I don't know if I am is a real title, but there is a sense it takes a lot of courage to stand up and declare that I am that. I am all. I am the one. I am God. We know that about 2,000 years ago, there was a man who was put on the cross <clears throat> because he declared it. He knew it without a doubt. And the people around him didn't want that. And I think that's still pretty true today. If somebody stands up in the church and declares him or herself to be God, what do you think would happen? Would that person be sent to a mental institution? Would they be kicked out of the church? Do we need to be students forever of all these spiritual and religious teachings? Or can we at some point say, I am that. And when I say that, I need to make sure that I am that I am that I'm not speaking it from I am Pranilla declaring that I am. Because when I'm, I am adding Pranilla to that equation, then I am not that. I am a limited belief, a separate sense of self um, that I have accepted as being me. Of course, it's not true. I think we have all bought into an experience here where we are pretending to be something other than what we are, than who we are. And if anyone steps out of that, and declares true entitlement. It's not Pranilla. It's not John or James or Mary, who knows what. That's not it. When it's run through that, then we may have to go to a mental institution. Maybe not. But that's, that's not real. That's not true. That is kind of delusional. But when we let go of that identity and really know who and what we are, and it's not something we necessarily live consciously all the time, but we can certainly take the time to dip in and let go of that false identity, let go of that separate sense of self, which is our name, our gender, our role, our past, our future. It's like, I am. There's nothing behind it when it's just in its purity. It's not even I am. It's, it's, a, it's a real experience. And that experience is it. It's not far away. 
is closer than breathing, nearer than hands and feet. It's spread all over the earth. It's inside and out. It's now. It's not tomorrow. It's not yesterday. It's now. And when we can rest back into that experience instead of moving away from it and, you know, reading all the spiritual books and studying and practicing, which there is a lot of value in that, of course. It, it helps us to let go little by little of who we think we are. But at some point, it's really okay to start declaring it, if nothing else, just to yourself. Just like owning that. And it's kind of like stepping out of the trance that we have lived in or stepping out of that, that agreement that we are, you know, we're going to, we're going to try something here. We're going to pretend that there's many of us and that we're all separated from the divine, that we are not one, that we are many. And then we're going to see what it's like to create a life as if we are not God. And that's what we've been doing. And there's a lot of flavors and uh, qualities to that. I would say the way the world is right now, it's, it's, it's so insane. And there's so many more distractions and things to... Um, take side on and believe and go against and be right or wrong about it's we're being bombarded and there is a place hopefully in all of us where we are beginning to see through what we have bought into what we have agreed to and we can say okay I'm done. I, I get it now. It was fun to pretend I was separate, to pretend that I was cut off from my source. But now I'm ready to go back and be what I am. And that usually happens when we start feeling something in here, like a yearning for home, a deep thirst with a well inside. It's like, oh, I cannot walk one more step in this desert of dryness out here. I, I'm thirsty. Let me go and get a drink from the source. Those are the, well, it's the longing. That is where you start longing or thirsting or yearning for that. That's because now it is calling you back home or I say it it's that language thing now I am pulling back the energy that seemed to be going out and learning to keep our hands off it can be very challenging these days because there's so much to keep up on and try and figure out what is real, what is true. Is this a lie? Is that, is he speaking the truth? Is she lying? There, it's, it's endless right now, endless. And I know a lot of people take, take a side and believe this and others take this side and believe that, but it's all out there. It's all part of that false identity that is uh, still trying to figure things out in the world of duality and that is still being cut off from source the source of oneness there's no oneness out there there's just duality and, i mean battling and 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 uh taking sides it's, it's really unbelievable to me uh how much how much most people are still just pulled out. I want to say the energies are such that we are being called back. We're ca called back from this dream that we collectively created. 
And it's a very distinct feeling that you feel here. But it may, we may override it with this, like the drive, the, em the emotions that are not uh, healed yet, that are still stuck in duality. They still think that they can um, work it out out there. And I would say the only thing we can work out there is to get to the point to soften these emotions with self-love, which is, of course, my specialty. I can be so bold to soften it enough so that the grip loosens enough that you can turn back and start feeling this longing and not override it with engaging in the world of duality that has nothing to do with who I am, with who you, I am, is also, it's the same. And if I do not take time to, um, yeah, to rest in that on a daily basis, I feel very thirsty, you know? I like, I, I need this, I crave it. And I know that I will never, um, my thirst will never be quenched out there or my hunger will never be fulfilled out there. It will just create more and more. So um, entitlement, it's the only real title that we should ever identify with. And that is, I am. And then you let go of the name, you let go of the title, you let go Go of your positions in the world, what you believe in. See if you can let it go, because it's very enticing, isn't it? It gives you a lot of energy. And but so letting it go is not always easy. But then when you do, then you can start being entitled to be who you are. And then it's a matter of do I dare to declare that? I have done it just inside of myself in the beginning because I didn't want to go out there and get on the cross or whatever. I just was like, and then when I are, am with people who are resonating with that, then it's so sweet to share that because there is a resonance. We can both feel the field of oneness. We can both sense into I am. And then it really feels like it grows the, the experience of it expands and it gets really yummy and then you can share it with a friend and it's like oh wow then then there's really a deepening into it and to me that feels like the portal opens more and then it goes out so that other people can also start feeling that in their experience for instance the longing i know a lot of people are longing to go home with a capital h not that they want to die <laughs> maybe that too but they want to die to their separate sense of self in this reality or maybe leave you know for for some it's one or the other but just honoring this calling it's not a mistake it is it is what is happening. This is kind of the energies right now. I know a lot of people do these energy forecasts and I've never thought of it like that, but just as I said it now, it feels like it's, it's, it's an energy that is here for us to tune into, feel the longing, let the longing take you. That means you follow the longing in. You just go to the feeling of the longing. And then you let it take you. You just kind of let yourself dive in. So you know what this longing is presenting to you. And wants to take you. Wants to take you maybe to a different uh, frequency. A different life experience that is beyond this sense of duality. So be bold and dare to declare who you are.
I would love to hear you say that because I really enjoy sharing that space with others. <laughs>